Hi guys, welcome to another day of 30 Days Wild with me, Russell James Headley from Nature Talks and Walks. Today I've come to um, a quite an overgrown area with lots and lots of grasses, as you can see just over here, to find Britain's most dangerous plant. And this is a species of plant that has been in the news a couple of times over the last couple of years actually, um, all for the wrong reasons. It's this plant here. This one just here. Big spiky leaves, very green. This is giant hogweed. And giant hogweed is an invasive plant. It comes from Southeast Asia and was brought over to the UK about 200 years ago as an ornamental plant for the garden. And with good reason. It is, of course, giant. It grows up to two to three meters tall. It's very, very impressive. And you can see just up here, I can't actually get them they're that far back. They're the flowers, and they're really, really big, about a dinner plate size flower on the top with about 50,000 flowers on top. Very impressive stuff. However, this plant is phototoxic. And what that means is that if you were to get any of the sap from this plant on your skin, it makes your skin incredibly sensitive to sunlight. And the burns you normally get, that kind of reddish tinge when you go out too much in the sun, gets intensified. And that leads to severe burns that lands you in hospital. And it can lead to long-term medical conditions. So this is a fairly dangerous plant and it grows quite often, as you can see here, all over here. This is actually in Bolton where I live. And as you can see, it actually also grows down the sides of footpaths. This is a public footpath and you can see it going right along here. So it's certainly one to be wary of. Now, if you were to ever come in contact with this plant, there's one thing to do first of all, and that is to make sure that any skin that's come into contact with the sap, as I say, is wrapped up and kept out of the sun for at least 48 hours. And of course, next thing to do is to go straight to your doctor, just in case. You can recognize giant hogweed from its size. And as I say, these leaves are quite sharp and spiky looking. And they're quite a light green colour. I've got one down here, actually, I can show you a bit closer up. So they're quite a light green. And also, down at the stem, the stem is also covered in dark purple hairs. So those are things to watch out for for giant hogweed. It is worth mentioning that we do have a common species of hogweed in Britain that is native, that is from here originally, and that one is not dangerous. So make sure that you've got a giant hogweed first of all, and then make sure that you alert the authorities to try and get rid of this dangerous plant.